Hey guys, this is Angit here, and this video is about temporary profile problem of a Windows 10. In this video, I am going to show how to fix temporary profile problem in Windows 10. A few days ago, I got this problem on my Windows 10 laptop where the problem was when I turn on my laptop, there is a message appear at the right bottom of the screen and a pop up at the center of the screen. The message at the right bottom was this one and it says it appears here actually and it says you have been signed in with a temporary profile you can't access your files and files created in this profile will be deleted when you sign out to fix this sign out and try signing later so basically it is saying that you are logged in with your temporary account and all the files and work that you will save will be deleted when you sign out or when you turn off your computer there is a pop-up also appeared at the center of the screen that says here it says we can't sign into your account this problem can often be be fixed by signing out of your account and then signing back in if you don't sign out now any files you create or change you will make lost so it is also saying the same thing as the notification message there are two things here two options sign out and dismiss but when you will go follow them and try to sign out and sign in again to fix this problem but it will not fix the problem again and you will gonna get this same message again so i searched for any way to fix this problem and i got a way and I tried to try it and it really worked. So I thought to make this video on this topic to help uh, to help others also. But but there is just uh, one lag. All the files that were on the local folders like uh, like documents, downloads, music, picture and videos will be not there when you get this problem of temporary profile account it means that you will gonna lost if this problem appears and all the data and files that were in devices and drives are still safe so don't worry so why this issue appears and or why this problem comes this issue appears due to corrupted file because corruption of a single file can enable the windows from assessing it and it will log you on the temporary profile which you can use it also appears when you try to change any files path or delete any system file so let's fix out this problem first of all open command prompt as a administrator Type here cmd Here you have to type this WAMIC user account where name equals to Ankit get SID Here replace Ankit with your username So type this So you got your seat here which is s-1-5 and very long code and which ends when where 1001 so you have to just remember so that you can locate it if you see this code so this is uh, just to just to see what you are going to find you have to search for this so minimize it now you need to open regedit as a run command type here r e g e d i t
here you have to nav uh, navigate to HK local machine and and then a software software and then Microsoft here and then Windows NT Yeah, Windows NT and then current version. Now profile list. You have to search profile list. Here, yeah. navigate it, expand it. Here you will you will get some codes, and the code which we have seen uh, from here, this one is the same. If I had the problem, I might get two or three code like this. But I have already fixed the problem, so I have not uh, this issue. Now you need to change the profile location. So do as I am doing. You have to just click here and profile image path. Now you have to go Now you have to go My PC Here Windows Here Users And Unkit Just copy The location path From here And then go back to Residit run command here profile image path click here and just copy this location and ok that's it now before you go you have to just uh, delete some code like this which ends with dot bak if if you are your if you have got this problem then you must have some codes like this which which ends with dot b a key like here suppose here dot b a key then you have to just delete that so as i have already said that i have fixed this problem so i don't have that so that's all now just restart your computer and sign in and the problem is now resolved so i hope you like this video if you like this video give a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe for the next video thank you